Welcome everybody. How you doing? I'm Legionnaire. Welcome to the video. Uh, first of all, thank you for taking the time. I appreciate it. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today I want to just talk about uh, Halo Infinite and the multiplayer. Uh, it's been out for almost a month now. By the time this comes out, it's probably going to be 30 days exactly from November 15th all the way up to December 15th. And uh, just got to say right off the bat, I love the multiplayer. They nailed it. It works. It's fun to play it's great to to get competitive in and it's also great to just have fun um in with some of the weapons and some of the areas that you go to in the maps uh they launched with 10 maps three big team seven multiplayer uh initially i was a little disappointed i was hoping for a few more given the six year cycle between halo 5 and infinite but uh you know the things don't always appear as they seem you know they it's been six years but it doesn't mean they've been working on the game for six years uh, I say the multiplayer is very easy to jump into for people who have not played in a long time. If you're an old Halo fan and you just haven't liked it in the last 10 years, I recommend giving it a shot. It's free to play and uh, it's going to be around for a long time. This is going to be the Halo multiplayer that they said. It's, they're calling it a 10 year thing. I don't believe that. I think they're going to ride it out until it's not popular anymore. Once it's not popular anymore and the you know player base starts dwindling, I think you know, after like three or four years, they're probably going to announce a new one. Each map has uh, great locations, sniper spots, line of sights, uh, making it so that you can be competitive, hold locations, and uh, hold on to power weapons. The maps all have a specific amount of power weapons spread out throughout the map. And uh, when you pick them up, you know, you can use them. And the next uh, set of power weapons will come in and it'll tell you. You know, between two minutes, I think, as usually is. The game launched with only uh, Slayer, Flag, and Oddball in its quick play playlist. Um, not going to lie, I wish there was more. And I wish I had the option to remove some of them. Because, honestly, don't really... Like, after a while of playing Oddball, you really get tired of playing Oddball. And uh, while it does rotate between playlist uh, types, it just kind of puts me too much in... The modes that i don't really care about and i really want to see some new modes added to the game which they have said they are doing the 14th which is tomorrow actually at the time of this recording they're going to be adding slayer fiesta free for all so my concern has already been addressed for the first few weeks there uh people were really like not happy with the microtransaction system that they added now this is a free-to-play game so you have to expect they have to make money obviously it's a free-to-play game. You have to make money. So they launched the store and the battle pass same day as the beta. Um, and it, while it works, it's just some of the pricing is a little high, people feel. Um, a lot of other people are saying that this is on par with other big games, you know, like, uh, like Apex, Valorant, Fortnite, Warzone, you know, those type of games. They're saying that it's pretty much on par with the, all those types of games. And... I grant you, you know, those games get away with it because their communities, while there's a certain section of them that do not like it, people keep buying them, people keep, you know, hanging out. And a lot of them just use the same saying that a lot of people are saying now. It's free to play, you know, you can play the game and just ignore it. And it's true, you can. But uh, for people who really want to, you know, be able to customize, um, a lot of the coolest stuff is going to be in that uh, store now the battle pass 100 tiers like any other battle pass um it it launched with a bunch of reach content they're starting with reach right away getting reach out of the way i'm happy about that because uh for a long time every time a halo game um is you know going on halo 5 halo mcc they always do like a reach thing remember reach you know halo 5 did it mcc's done it and that's because reach was a popular game so they're starting off with that and getting it out of the way i'm happy Get the Reach armor out there, and uh, while I argue it should have been part of the set already, um, but I guess, you know, that's just me, my own personal opinion on that, uh, because we've seen it so much in all the other games, you know, you it feels like the Reach armor should be set of the main game, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Your Spartan looks awesome. I like that, you know, they changed it from red and blue to outlines, so when you're in the multiplayer, you see your outline and uh, it's easy to see you from far and you can change it so that you see the outline even more brighter, which is probably an advantage and what, you know, big teams online probably do. 
find myself uh, easily jumping into the match and getting into the groove of things. And that's one of the things that's hard to nail for most multiplayer games, especially when you're new coming in. Um, I say if you don't really know the Halo franchise, you will be able to jump into this. You'll be able to learn the mechanics of the multiplayer mode and you'll be able to enjoy it along with everybody else. Um, I don't know if it has skill based matchmaking, but uh, if it does, then that works better for new players anyways. Um, I'm not really a fan myself. But they have the ranked mode as well. If you want to get real sweaty with it, you want to go online, get hardcore, they got that for you. Ranked launched alongside quick play, and they got the big team battle mode, which I got to say has been a lot of fun. I like the big team battle maps. I wish there was a little more uh, diversity between them. The, a lot of trees and grass and, and hillsides, you know, but one of them has like a banished base. Another one uh, has like really perfect like sidelines for you to be able to run alongside with the warthogs there's not really enough vehicles on these maps i don't know they don't feel like big wide open like you should be able to take tanks and stuff you can still get tanks but you have to like uh call them down and i never really see them on the field and i kind of hope that they add like a heavy vehicle mode or something because all-out vehicle warfare is like one of the best things you can do in halo really uh, but aside from that, though, I say the big team battle mode works well. I feel it's much better than Warzone from Halo 5, which was a big, big, big mode uh, with huge maps um, that, you know, not compared to Battlefield, but they were pretty big. They they were tied to the wreck system in Halo 5, and you could get really cool weapons and vehicles that you spawn in that mode. So that mode was basically for the wreck system, which was like their loot boxes, which was all the rage back in 2015. So far, using the weapons hasn't been too much of an issue. I really like the balance. They've nailed that Halo balance that we always look for. Um, the assault rifle, probably the most powerful one since like Halo 1. <laughs> it's uh, it's great to be able to use it. Uh, a lot of like, especially Reach was the weakest. The assault rifle is like no use in almost everything except for campaign. Um, the pistol here has a good balance. It's not overpowered. It's not like too strong like Halo 1 or too useful like halo 5 you could immediately default to the pistol and uh, you'd be all right in most matches in halo 5 but in this one you know it's a great weapon to switch to when you run out of ammo in your main weapon and that's what the pistol's for really a lot of the the returning weapons and some of the heavy weapons the hydra looks good um they got a shock rifle that shoots like electricity and that you know, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it works out uh, because it's balanced. It's not, you can't just get like one shot with it. There's another Covenant rifle, and that one I think is one shot. It's a red like sniper rifle. I forgot the name of it, um, but it works really well. The shotgun has been replaced with the Bulldog, which is like an automatic shotgun. And it takes like three or four shots to kill anybody. Like three, sh three good shots, you know. Um, and uh, I don't know, I don't like it as much as the pump action. But I think we'll see the pump action eventually. One of the things they're definitely going to do with the seasons is add maps. They're going to add more weapons in the future. So I think give it like two years and we'll have like a full on arsenal of Halo weapons in there. You know, kind of like Halo 5 did with the Warzone mode. They added a bunch of classic weapons, um, straight ripped them out of the other games and just put the assets in Halo 5 and added the right damage difficulties. <laughs> But aside from that, though, I think the weapons have a great balance. And uh, when you're playing 4v4s, getting in there with your squad, you know, there's enough of them around the map, so that's not really an issue. Um, grenades do decent and good damage. The new shock grenades are probably like the coolest. I really like them. They got incendiary grenades back. Um, and you start with, you know, I think one or two regular grenades always as usual, and that's good for balance. Sometimes people say that there's too many grenades, maybe. Um, I haven't run into that issue because Halo and grenades, you know, you just expect them, right? So overall, everybody, I definitely recommend the Halo Infinite multiplayer. I say jump in, check it out. It's free. If you got an Xbox, you can play it on any Xbox going all the way back to the original Xbox one. If you have xCloud, which is with Game Pass Ultimate, you can actually play xCloud on any browser, you know, so I don't even I don't know if you could do it on the PS4 browser or PS5. But if you could, that'd be awesome. I know you can do it on your phone. You could do it on the computer, tablets, any mobile device that can go to a web browser, you can do it. Um, and all you gotta do is pair a controller to it. I don't know if third party ones work, but my Xbox One controller connects to it very well. Definitely check it out. Um, give it a go, you know, see if you like it. 
Uh, I, I know it's lacking a little bit in content and it has some microtransactions issues, but they're working on it and they're changing things. It's only been a month. Give them a little more time, guys. Come back. Like, if you're disappointed with what they have, come back in like three months, come back in six months uh, when there's some hype for, for seasonal drops. And I'm sure you'll have a good time. Thank you all for watching the video. Hey, make sure you check out the links. I'm playing Halo Infinite Campaign right now on Twitch, and I'm going to keep doing so for a while. Uh, and then we're going to move on to other games. Check out the links below. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.